Hey, this is David with David's Tutorials. In today's video, I'd like to ask you the question, when you work in a Word document, and pretty much everybody is going to be working in Microsoft Word at some time or another, since that is now the default, de facto word processor, mostly worldwide. When you work in a Word document, have you ever come across an instance where you want to put a word or a phrase or a series of words in one place and then have that same word, series of words or phrase repeated multiple times throughout the document? I have. And I have figured out a way to do that. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Now besides having the word, let's just call it a phrase. It could be a single word, it could be a multiple words, it could be multiple lines of words. Let's just call this a phrase. Now, in addition to having the phrase that you want to designate repeat throughout the document, I think you probably also might want to be able to change that phrase and have it change in every place it shows up throughout the document. I've done this in a document I have been creating about a very complex air traffic control system and I don't have a good name for the topic. Right now I'm calling it SIAS SIAD, meaning a single integrated air corridor reservation system and the single integrated air corridor display system and that's just way too much of a mouthful and I want to come up with something a lot more concise and targeted than that but right now I don't have it so I'm using SIAS SIAD and I want to be able to put that in the document and then when I come up with a better title for it have it replaced in every place throughout the document. Now one of the workarounds you can do is to use Word and this is also in Google Documents the global search and replace find every instance of this word or this phrase and replace it with this other word or this other phrase and that works okay but I'd really rather have it be automated and I'm sure if you're like me, you probably would like to have it automated as well. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. But before I get into that, I want to tell you that this video is one of the videos in my Word Tips playlist. Now, if you'd like to see the other Word Tips I have, go ahead in the upper right hand corner right there and click that link that you see. If you're not on the YouTube platform, it will take you to the YouTube platform and it will be a list of all the word tips that I have in that playlist and you can look through that list and see if there's something else that you would like to watch. Okay, here we go. Let's show you how to put a word or a phrase in one place and have it appear in multiple places and change it in that first place and have it change in all the other places. Let's get started. Okay, here we are in a word document. I've got it set up to show you how to take some text and have it appear in several places in the document. And when you change that text, you will be able to change that text in the other places that it appears in the document. To do this, it requires two of the capabilities of Microsoft Word, bookmarks and fields. First thing we're going to talk about is bookmarks. Now, if you want a word or a phrase to appear in other places in a document, you have to turn it into a bookmark. I'm going to select this text right here, triple click to three, triple click, selects the entire paragraph, hold down shift and do my left arrow and that unselects the end of paragraph marker, leaving only the text selected. Now to turn it into a bookmark, all you have to do is press control shift F5 and that'll be command shift F5 on a Mac. Now, because I have a whole bunch of bookmarks already in this document, I'm going to give this a unique name, which is going to be Triple Z Test T-E-S-T. -E and I'm going to press Enter. I could also click the Add button, and that will add that bookmark to the list of bookmarks I have. Now, if you want to find out where a bookmark is in a particular document, you open up your bookmarks menu, again, with Control or Command Shift F5. You find the bookmark you want. And since that's highlighted, I'm going to go ahead and press Control C and copy that to my clipboard. I'm going to use that later. And then I'm going to click on Go To. And you can see now that highlights the bookmark so you can find out where in the document that bookmark is located. We now have the bookmark established. I have copied the bookmark name onto my clipboard. I'm going to insert it into the document. The way to do that is with a field. To insert a field, 
you press Control F9, and that inserts your curly braces, and you can see they're highlighted, which indicates that, yes, this is a field. This particular field will be a reference to something else, and so I'm going to type REF, press the space bar, and Control or Command V Victor, and that pastes the bookmark name. Once you have inserted that particular field, pressing F9 makes the field display the value of that field. You can now see that this is one test, and that says this is one test. I'm going to change the source from one to A. This is A test, and that's all I have to do on the source. I come down here to the field, when I click on it once, you see it highlights the whole thing. All I have to do is right-click on it and select Update the Field. And now you see it changed from this is one test to this is a test. Let's do it one more time right down here in the document text. This is not in a table. And the reason I'm doing this is because fields in a table operate just a little bit differently from fields not in a table. I'm inserting a field with Control F9. I'm going to type in REF because it's a reference plus a space bar, control V paste, and F9. And we can now see that field shows this is a test. Now I am going to select that particular word, test, and I'm going to turn it red. Now we can see that that word is red. Now I can select all of this document here and right click anywhere in there and select update fields. And you can see all of them are now updated. So that's how you can add text in a source area, have it appear in multiple places in a document and have it change once you change the source area. I'm going to change one more thing and turn it into a whole bunch of additional. This is a test, a plain old test, and nothing but a test. Now, if I select from here down to the end, select update field, you can see it all changed. Now, there's one other thing you need to be aware of is if you delete the text that is in the bookmark and then you try to update the field, you're getting an error. And that happens wherever that field is referenced. So you don't want to delete the entire text that is the bookmark. Otherwise, you will get an error when you update. Well, there you have it. Now you know how you can put some text and a phrase in one place in a document and have it repeated multiple places in the document. And if you change it in that initial place, it will change in all of the other places. And now you know how to do it. As I said earlier, this is part of my Word Tips and Tricks playlist. And I have this is going to be number video number 19 in that playlist. And if you want to see the rest of them, go ahead and click on that link in the upper right hand corner. And if you'd like to see some of my other playlists, because I'm covering a wide range of topics here on my vlog, you can click on that link in the YouTube platform and it will take you to an entire list of my playlists. I've got things in there such as food and kitchen tips and tricks. And I've got 32 videos in that one. And I've got how to teach and I've got military and flying and I've got home tips. And these are just all of the things that I have come across that I really wanted to share with you. And I really didn't know how to do it other than to categorize them into the various playlists. So check out the playlist and see if there's something there that you might like as well as the word tips and tricks. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate everybody who's watching. And if you're not already a subscriber, go ahead and click that subscribe button right now and then the bell icon so YouTube will let you know when I 
put another video right up here on David's tutorials and vlog channels. Go ahead, give me that thumbs up and that will let me and the YouTube robots know that you like this video and YouTube will probably then be more prone to recommend this video to other people who are looking for word tips and tricks. Also, leave me a comment down in the comment section below to let me know how well you like this video and tell me how you're going to use it or what other things you might like to see on this channel. That's all I've got for you today. So I want you all to have a wonderful day and a wonderful rest of your year. And it's now December as I'm making this. So I'm going to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. And I hope you have a wonderful holiday season. And I will see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.